Hi everyone. I just wanted to share with you something that's newly available. Just a day or so ago, the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set and dies became available. And I just want to share with you a card that I haven't made yet. I've just got the pieces cut out and I just want to show you some of the fun stuff with this set. So let's take a peek. So just to introduce myself, so if you don't know me and you're just finding me, this is Carol Tennant from Carol's Cards for Fun dot stampin up dot net or my blog Carol's Card Cards for Fun spelled like like this blogspot dot blogspot. I'll put a link in the video. Okay, um, but. A follow-up to our last video, remember I showed you how to replace the end of the Stampin' Blends. I tend to like to color my jewels and the, um, the diamond wannabe jewels. Let me just get those out. Well, I color the pearls and I'm reaching down below me and I color the diamonds and the diamonds are kind of faceted and when you color these you can kind of tear up the tips of the markers so I I do that I do that a lot I admit it's it's my fault but what that does is make the marker tip kind of um uh, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't color as nice and sharply it, it has nasty edges so I showed you in the last video how to replace it with a Copic marker and you see here where it's kind of yucky on the edges where I've colored with the old one that I did throw away in our last video but see how very nicely it colors now of course I'm holding this and I'm not able to make beautiful but it's not it's not messy on the ends like that one is and I meant to show you at the end of the last one how this did fill down if you remember I put I put the uh, end in and then I just set it aside and I was going to show you that yes it will indeed flow down to it so the ink flowed down to it and now this marker has a nice fresh tip uh, that I can now color again without having those messy fuzzy lines on my my coloring piece but the whole point of today's video of this video is the butterfly brilliance bundle and the butterfly brilliance bundle comes with one stamp and it's a bunch of butterflies and it stamps just like the package says but the really awesome fun part is it also comes with all of these dies it comes with dies that will cut out the, the stamps if you want to stamp it or it actually cuts out the designer paper. Let me find a piece of that. I mean the designer paper is really pretty in beautiful colors but there is some of this designer paper that just fits. I have to find it in here because yeah, here it is. It just fits this die. So I have die cut this one that just lays over it and just fits this. So I've made one other card with a butterfly, but I don't really feel like I have explored the capabilities of this set yet. So I cut out some pieces and I was just going to share with you what, what I might make with it. Let me go grab my pieces so far, far away. So I cut out a piece of this beautiful paper. There is so many. The problem with this is I love these butterflies that I can die cut, but I also really love this back image. So I've actually already cut a piece of this back off, and you'll see me use that in today's card. But the, it is just so beautiful, and there's so many things that I can just think of cards to make. And I love these colors, these lovely soft colors. I mean, the nice yellows of the butterflies, but then the lovely soft, uh, the Just Jade. Um, now this is also Magenta Madness, which is one of our in colors, but these are just really pretty springy colors. So uh, this paper is actually only available for another month. It's available March and April while supplies last. This stamp set and die set, the Butterfly Brilliance and the, oh, several dies. How many dies? I'll tell you in a moment. 
12 dies, because it has this as one, and all of these plus a few others that give some nice texture. These will be in the new annual catalog, which I will be sending out to many of you next month. I'll be putting ordering it for you this month, and it should be sent to you next month. But this is just a card, and it just came to my mind that, okay, I'm just going to start and just cut out, because I did cut out all of those butterflies. And there might be more. No, that's six. Okay, I cut all those out, and I picked this one, because I really like, I picked this one, sorry. I picked this one to use, so that's what I'm going to use on my card. So the first thing I did was take a piece of the Seaside Spray. <clears throat> the Seaside Spray is one of the papers that will be retiring. It is one of the in colors from 2019 to 2021. It will be retiring. I took my white craft ink, and I don't want to do it now because the thing I'll tell you about this ink is it's really good white ink, but um, it stays wet a long time. I dabbed my sponge on it, and then I just dabbed it all over my paper, trying to create that um, sky look, maybe with some clouds in it, some wispy clouds, or just so it won't be a you know a flat, flat color. Because I like something, something of interest, something to catch my eye. So I'm just going to glue that onto my card. This is a just jade card base. So I'm just going to put that on. This is really super easy. And then I've got this 2 inch by 5 inch. So this is uh, 5 and a quarter by 4 to make a, just go on a standard A2 card base. And then I've got this 2 inch by 5 inch piece of pretty paper. And I'm going to use the butterfly side. And just put it about there. And I want my butterfly to be a focal point. So I am going to pop this up on some dimensionals that I just happen to have laying around here. Oops, and that back came off for me already. I don't even have to worry about pulling these backs off. They're coming off as I'm picking them up. Okay, I, I, when I use dimensionals, I, I use dimensionals. So I'm just going to set that down there. And this is one of the butterflies that came out of the designer paper, along with all these others. And that's pretty. I like it. But what I also did was cut one of these detailed images, the matching detail image with the detailed die. And then I just went to town with my Wink Estella all over it. Just color, color, color all over with my Wink Estella. Actually, here's a piece and I can just do it. Just color. I don't know how well this is going to show up for you with the camera, but just color it all over. There's one tiny little piece stuck in. I can poke that out, but not. Oh, yeah, with my Wink Estella brush. Okay. But I just colored it all over until I had full coverage. So I've already done that, so I don't need to do it again. So I'm going to put this on my card. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it mostly down. And then I'm just going to glue. Now this will fit exactly over it because it's, it's the coordinating die. But what I'm going to do with this one is just glue down. And you see why I love this fine tip glue. So I'm just going to glue down the antenna because I don't want them to break. And just the tiniest little bit of the body so that the wings can flutter a little bit. Okay, so I want to press that down and I want to press these little antenna down. But I want to leave the edges of the wings just fluttering a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and that's the outside. Now you can put some gigaws on or you could put some sen a sentiment, but I don't know what I want it to say yet. But for the inside, I didn't want to waste this paper, so I cut the edge off of the paper that had been die cut. Remember, this is the paper 
that were die cutting, and when I die cut it, I had a little edge left, so I cut it off and cut it down to size. I'm just gonna glue it real quick. It's about a half an inch by five. Just gonna glue it real quick right there for an accent. And then just make an inside for my card. Because I don't like the insides of my cards to be naked. I like them to be pretty too. They're not the focal point, but I like them to be attractive. And I like to leave myself a nice place to write. Now, I might pick this out of my stash at some point and decide, okay, I know what I'm going to use it for now and put a sentiment on it. But for today, this is, this is just all I need. I'll just use it like this. So this is the new, brand new, just available, you can order it, Butterfly Brilliance Bundle. Now, it's, it's just new, just available the beginning of this month, but it will be... The set will be available in the next annual catalog. You should get the next annual catalog sometime in April, hoping that the mail works okay. And the bundle comes with all of these dies. The only thing that won't remain available in the next annual catalog is all of this beautiful paper. So this paper is only available while supplies last. So I am gonna be working on I don't know, cutting this, love it, chop it, cut it up into making some, some beautiful little creations. So that's all we have for now. I hope you enjoyed this set and this card. I don't know what it's gonna be for, but it's a really simple, easy, goes together real fast. It's been a fun day in my craft room and I hope it's been a fun day in yours too. Talk to you soon, bye.